Well, hey. Hi. Happy a Sunday. I do believe it's a little past 11-11. I'm uh, doing the best I can from where I am with what I got, like we all are. And I uh, made it. I'm here to do a quick body check. Check in with myself. Ah, do a little breathing in and a little breathing out. A little stretching, a little strengthening. Thank you for the love. I do appreciate it. And I invite you to join me to whatever degree feels good in your body. If it does, I encourage you to, at the very least, take a deep breath and then let it go. Maybe do a little, a little wiggle jiggle, a little shaking things out. I'm uh, kind of, once again, in the process of figuring out something good. <laughs> with this live stream and camera action. So I uh, find myself on the floor. Let's start with a little squatting while I fix this camera. You can start with uh, some squatting too if you feel like it. All right, I'm gonna take a couple breaths. <sighs> Let's do a couple shoulder shrugs before I root myself into the center of the earth. Just breathing in, tensing up, and then just letting it go. Let me arms swing, shaking it out a bit. Breathing in, tensing up, clenching the fist even, and then just blowing off the dust, wiggling it out, shaking it out, letting it go. One more. Breathing in, tensing up, pulling everything towards center, and then whew, just letting things go. Ha, ah, yeah, it's a beautiful day out there. Haven't had much chance to explore it yet. That's where I'm going next. Hmm, mm hmm. I'm gonna bring legs out front, I suppose, for a little forward folding. Bounce out those knees. Raise the arms, rooting both sit bones in the center of the earth, nice and long and strong through the spine. And then forward folding from the hips, not the waist, down lower from the hips and aiming chin for toes. Just keeping arms in line with the spine, getting a nice stretch through the backs of the legs there. And then I'm gonna round the spine, aiming forehead for knees. Curling down, bringing the arms down, give the knees a little love. And then again, this time leaving hands down, I'm gonna use the legs for a little torque and pull the torso forward. Straight back from the hips, aiming chin for toes. And then again, rounding down, forehead for knees. And one more time. Chin aiming for toes, flat to back, and again rounded back, aiming forehead for knees. I'm going to reach out past those toes, come back up. Let's do a little gentle twisting, keeping both sits bones rooted, twisting to the left, gazing behind that left shoulder, twisting to the right, gazing behind that right shoulder. And this time I'm going to bring right hand on the left leg for a little extra torque and increase that stretch twisting to the left giving everybody a nice hug on the inside unwinding that bringing left hand on the outside of right leg and the right giving everybody a nice hug on that side coming back to center let's bring the left leg in close to the groin pressing this knee down rooting both sits bones into the center of the earth. And then with a flat back, aiming chin for right toes. Still really working to press this knee down. Folding from the hip with a flat back. And then rounding that back, aiming forehead for knees. Rounding the spine. And then straightening the spine, chin for toes. And again, rounding the spine, forehead to knee. One more time, chin for toes, flat back. And round it back, curling toward the knee. 
and then reaching out past that foot with a relatively flat back, coming back up. I'm going to bring hands onto this folded knee for an additional twist. Giving all those organs a nice hug, a nice ringing out, twisting through the spine, and then unwinding all of that. Let's go to the closed side. Again, using the hands for torque on those legs. And coming back to center, let's bounce those legs out and bring the right foot up. In close to the groin, pressing this right knee down, rooting both sits bones into the earth, and then with a relatively flat back, aiming chin for toes. You can pull those toes back if you want an additional stretch in the back of the leg. And then rounding the spine, aiming forehead for knees, or knee rather, left, aiming chin for left toes with a flat back. And again, forehead for knee, rounded spine, and relatively flat back. I'm trying to pull this torso over that left knee a little bit. <sighs> One more time. Rounded spine. Aiming forehead for knee. And then reaching out past that left foot. Coming up nice and straight. Long and strong in the abdomen and spine. Still pressing that right knee down. And then I'm going to come to the right side. Using hands on leg for torque. Getting a nice twist through the spine, wringing out of the organs. Coming back to center, shake that out, and then come over to the other side. <sighs> nice twist on that side. Back to center, Get these knees out. Shake out the arms. I'm gonna bend both knees and come on up into a squat position using elbows on the knees, pressing heels down. You can play with different heel positions here. I encourage you to squat daily. I know that sounds kind of funny and that's because we don't do it very often, but it is really good for your body. It's a great posture to keep the ability to do something we humans used to do all the time. And it seems uh, lifestyles have made that less of a necessity, but your human body the one you live in is still a movement machine. It's made to move. So I hope that you will explore all the potential capabilities of your movement machine. I'm just rocking on the feet. You could notice rocking from toes to heels, using my hands, just playing around. <sighs> I'm going to stand up from here, keeping hands down, lifting the hips. Hanging here in a forward fold. <sighs> Just letting gravity do some unwinding. And then I'm going to come down to hands and knees from here. Bringing the hands back down. Pressing through those palms for a short bit. Getting a nice stretch through the chest. And then bending the knees. I'm going to come up onto the knees briefly adjust the shirt and then keeping knees under hips bringing hands down under shoulders let's do some cat cow stretches so tucking the chin tucking the tailbone pulling up in the abdomen pushing apart the shoulder blades as if you were a cat stretching and then breathing in Letting the belly sag, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, lifting the chest, lifting the eyes. You can add the tongue if you like here. Uh, a very nice stretch of the whole front. And then again, I'm going to breathe in and arch the back, pushing those shoulder blades apart. I'm going to do this with the breath about three times and then I'm going to reverse the breath. So breathing in, tucking, rounding, holding, and then <sighs> releasing all that, stretching through the front. And again, breathing in and out. <sighs> One more time, breathing in and then I'm going to reverse the breath on the top. So breathing in, 
holding, and then exhaling, tucking the chin and tailbone a little bit more, and then breathing in in the opposite direction, lifting the chest, lifting the eyes, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, and again, exhaling, curving the spine, tucking the chin. Inhaling, letting the belly just drop, lifting the eyes and chest, holding, and then <sighs> rounding the spine, tucking the chin. One more time, inhaling, holding, <sighs> coming back to neutral, what's called a tabletop position. Feeling for a straight line of energy out the top of the head, out the tailbone. And I'm going to bring weight onto the left hand and right foot or leg or knee rather. <laughs> and then lifting the left leg and right arm. Looking for an energetic line out those toes, out those fingertips. And lifting them a little bit more, really feeling into that. And then bringing all that down. Switching sides, bring weight onto right leg, <laughs> right hand. I'm noticing my leg is hitting dome. I said leg. Right leg, left arm. That's what I'm trying to say. Feeling for that energetic line and then lifting that up a little higher. <sighs> Bringing that down. Let's do each side one more time. Left leg, right arm, lifting. And left arm, right leg, lifting. One more time. I don't know where I am in camera. I suppose I should check, huh? Left, arm, left leg, right arm, lifting. Don't forget to breathe and smile, whatever else you're doing. And then switching sides. Left arm, right leg. I'm going to come back onto both knees and sit back in what's commonly called child pose, which is rounding the spine, bringing the forehead toward the knees, and just relaxing here for a breath or so. of relaxation. Shake that out a little more. And go ahead and move into my inverted pose. I encourage you to move a little more as well because you are worth it. I hope you're enjoying a peaceful, productive, playful Sunday. Thank you for stopping by. Michael, Brendan, it's good to see you. Ciao for now.